What's going on, guys? This is Dave from PNP, and I'm here to talk to you about Underdog Fantasy. I just want to remind you that it's the easiest place to play. There ain't too many places where you can win 20 times your money in the same night, utilizing higher lowers in the Pick'em game. And now they have Pick'em Insurance, where while you won't win the same amount of money that you did before, you can miss one and still bring home some money. So if you do it three times, you could potentially still get your money back if you end up missing one. Go to underdogfantasy.com and sign up today and use the code PNP when you do. And the $100 deposit match still stands. Underdog Fantasy. QueenCityPodcastNetwork.com What's going on, guys? This is Dave, one half of PNP. Just to do a quick sound check, make sure you guys can hear me. Rashad is on vacation. Um, he's still on vacation. At some point, he'll come home. He'll come back. I mean, I, I'm, I think at some point, he is going to have to return to his household. And um, in the grand scheme of things, you know, I'm here today. This ain't going to be too long of an episode. Uh, you know, there ain't really too many topics to discuss. Uh, but I just want to make sure everything's good. You know, you know, I had a pretty good weekend. I was out of town this weekend. Um, yeah, I had a, I had I headed down to North Carolina to go watch the W watch uh, the Lady Aggies play at the WNIT game. Shout out to North Carolina A and T. They, uh, you know, they made it to the, to the, I think they called the Super 16 um, in the women's NIT. Uh, they ended up losing to Troy. Troy made it to the Fab Four. Um, you know, so Troy's still rolling along. So shout out to them. Uh, really good game. A uh, very fast paced game. But overall, I just had a good, I had a good weekend overall with that regard. Um, so, yeah, you guys are still mad at me about that mock draft, huh? Yeah, I see y'all are, but, you know, so for those who don't know, on Saturday, I, um, I did the walk the mock draft and, and I, and the nightmare scenario happened for Carolina where they had, there was a lot, there were nine wide receivers that went in the first round, you know, so I took a wide receiver that nobody liked. Um, shout out to Marquise Jones for the super chat. What's good from Hampton Rose, Virginia? It's funny. I got to head to Hampton in a couple of weeks. My daughter actually wants to tour Hampton, um, Hampton University. So I'm going to head down. I'm going to see if I can try to swing to do Norfolk State as well while I'm there. But uh, I, I literally just changed the trip up to originally I was supposed to take a train down there. I'm going to I'm going to drive down. Um, you know, but we'll see. Appreciate the super chat. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yo, man. I, I thought I did cool. I can't complain. I never doubt, like, you guys are bugging. I never doubted Kaylin Clark. I just said he, she wasn't going to, I don't think she's going to be a good WNBA player. I don't think her, I don't think her game is going to fit in the WNBA. Um, I, I, I stand by that. I think uh, Paige is a much better fit because it's about, because Kaylin's defense is not as good as, as Paige's. All right, let's see here. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, this was a wild occurrence that happened during uh, Aggie Fest this week. I mean, it was off campus, let me be clear, but still, you know, whenever there's Aggie Fest or homecoming, there's always a lot of things going on off campus, which is why I always tell folks when you when you go out and about, you got to be cognizant, and keep your head on the swivel and stay safe. Oh boy, hold on. Let me do this real fast before I forget. But yeah, man, a lot of you guys don't like the fact I took Troy Franklin, huh? I mean, I, I did it for y'all. I mean, y'all kept saying we got to get a wide receiver. So I did it for y'all. Oh, I know I did fine, bro. I ain't sweating it. I ain't sweating it. I, I decided to go wide receiver when everything fell apart. Like, I, Lad wasn't there. Like, you know, Troy Franklin was the best available wide receiver at that point. While it is different, and it's funny because, you know, the draft, it goes back to the whole consensus of the fact that the draft is unpredictable, right? So, yes, it's different. It's different when it's a, a simulation versus when there's humans, when there's a human in each spot. But there were some things that was crazy. The first four picks were quarterbacks, you know? I mean, if I just traded up the four, or man Thor traded up the four to take J.J. McCarthy. So it all depends. It's, it's always different. And I and just so you know, man, North Carolina Central wants their trademark back. Just want you to know that. 
And another thing I want you to know, I'm happy for North Carolina State for having have making it to the Final Four on both the men's and the women's. But that men's team is not a Cinderella team. No Power Five team is a Cinderella team. Just saying. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, man. I, I mean, I give, I give them, I give the men, I give the North Carolina State men a puncher's chance uh, to make it to the national championship. The women have no shot. They're running. Into, they're running into South Carolina. The men, the women have no shot. No shot. I just hope they don't get beat up as bad as UNC did. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. When you a power five squad, when you got the budgets that they got, nah, dog. Not nope. 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 George Mason, when they had their final four one, that's a Cinderella team. Florida Gulf Coast is a Cinderella team. Those are Cinderella teams. Like mid majors, low budget teams getting further in the tournament than they anticipated. I'm not letting I'm not letting y'all tell me that an ACC team is a Cinderella team. I'm not. Not gonna allow it. Um, you know, I think I think we have to get rid of that. And truth be told, what's happening right now is my biggest fear for the NCAA tournament because they want to get rid of the smaller teams into the tournament. They want to just be a bunch of power five teams in the tournament. Um, there's multiple coaches that made those comments. And now uh, it is about budget, bro. It's about budget. It is about budget. It's about budget. I don't care what you say. It's about budget. If if a smaller school has the budget as some of these bigger Power Five schools, it would be a different ball game. It's about budget. VCU in 2011. That's a Cinderella. That's a Cinderella story. Teams from the Power Six. Because I gotta include the Big East. The Big East has always been a power. Yeah, nah. You know, so nah. We're not. We're not. I'm not. I'm not rolling, guys. I'm happy the NC State got there. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not. I'm not rolling. Calling them a Cinderella team. I'm not. I'm not rolling. I can't because the budgets are different. So, you know, you know, I, I, I like, cause North Carolina state isn't a small school. It's one of the largest schools in the state of North Carolina. If not the largest, it might be larger than, nah, it's probably, I think UNC Chapel Hill might be bigger, but it's one of the largest schools in the state of North Carolina. I don't care what seed you are. I don't care what seed you are. I don't, it's not, it's not about that. For me, it's about budgets. It's about budgets. It's a power five team. It's a power five team. I, I understand y'all are excited. Just like when South Carolina went to the final four a few years ago on the men's side, I did not call them, I did not call them a, a, a Cinderella team. I just said they're a team. They're a, they're, they're a team in a, in a power five conference that made it to the final four. They ain't been there. Props to them. Same thing. Same, same, same concept. So they are, they are in a power five conference guys. Like you can't, you can't change my mind about that. They are in a power five conference. They're in one of the big conferences that get a multitude of teams into the NCAA tournament. I mean, they're in the ACC. They're in the strongest basketball conference that they're in the strongest basketball conference in the land. Like, what are we talking about here? I understand you want to say it's Cinderella. It's not. Just like when UConn with Kimba made that run. No, it was not. Same concept. Same thing. It wasn't. They were, they're in a big conference. I'm happy for them. Like I said, I'm happy for them. But, no, nah, I ain't rolling. I'm not rolling. I know it's, I know it's great. I know it's great. Dog, 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 y'all got more than one team in. I mean, you know, the ACC got, what, four teams in? How many teams did they get in? Four? You know, the conference that I watch only got one in. You know? I mean, what do you want me to tell you? Like, I, you know, it's it's about the budgets and, and who, owns the, who owns the money. They're not Cinderella team. Sorry. Can't do it. Don't care what seed there are. Can't do it. They own all the money. They got all the budgets. That that's a, that creates a significant advantage that some of the smaller institutions do not have. I mean, when you look at the Final Four, you got one Big East team, one ACC team, one SEC team, and one Big Ten team. 
one from me, one from one from each of the power five, four sixes. All four teams came from the power six. No Cinderella teams are there. That's just what it is. You know, I know you guys don't want to hear it, but that's the reality of the fact. I'm about to change the name of this episode to North Carolina State is not a Cinderella team. Because I'm just, just telling you. I wish them luck. You know, I love DJ Burns. Whenever a chubby, whenever a chubby guy is out here balling, I'm an advocate of that. I'm an advocate of that. I ain't hating. I ain't got no allegiance to none of them teams. I just don't understand how you call a Cinderella team a team in the ACC. That 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 makes no sense to me. But I I ain't go front though. I like DJ Burns' game. Yo, I love his game, man. I love his game and I love his his path. And you know it's funny, North Carolina State got a, a former A and T Aggie on that squad. He's our, I think he's the water boy if I recall correctly. He transferred he transferred to North Carolina State this season from A and He was averaging like twenty points a game for A and T. So. Nah, I think you guys got to understand. Y'all got to understand what Cinderella means. If Cinderella, for me, the definition of a Cinderella team, the first thing I think is mid-major. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't call a team that's not in a mid-major conference a Cinderella team. I just can't do it. Um, actually, Rashad said you guys were going to have a long, uh, have a deep run into the tournament. Rashad said that. We had a discussion about it on the show. And Rashad watches way more college basketball than me. And he said North Carolina State's probably going to make a long run. Yeah, but DJ Burns, yeah, I heard that he was getting some I heard he was getting some NFL calls. If I was him, I would stick to basketball, bro. Less wear and tear. Somebody might somebody might draft him after this run. Especially if they like, could you imagine if North Carolina State won the national championship? I don't think they will. I mean, I don't think nobody's being UConn this year. But could you imagine? Like, could you imagine if the Wolfpack wins it? You know? I I would be intrigued if the Wolfpack could do it. Nah, I don't do that, dude. Like, I can't. I, the lower seed's not enough for me. Y'all ain't, because nobody's beating UConn. That's why. <laughs> nobody's beating UConn. UConn's too good. UConn's got to have the worst day of his life to lose to, to win the national championship. Man knows nothing. I I'm not rolling. You got to have some mid major component. I need a story like North Carolina State ain't a like a budget story. Like when a fairly Dickerson made that upset last year against Purdue. Like their budget was so low that they had a student being the student information director, the um the st- the information director for the school, the SID for the school. A student had that job. Like think about that. A student had that job to keep track of all the statistics for the season. They had a student doing it because they couldn't afford it. That's They decided that, that wasn't enough for their budget. So they had a student doing it. Like, those are the type of stories. Like, things like that is, is, is the type of stuff I'm talking about when we're talking about, like, mid-major. When we're talking about Cinderella teams, I want those type of stories. I want the stories of their budget is one-tenth of North Carolina states and they made it all the way to the final four. Like those are the type of stories I'm, I, I'm, I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the, the seat. Well, no, no, no. I'm looking for those type of stories. I want to look for, they had to, they had to stay in a separate spot because they couldn't afford to go somewhere else. Like don't like, cause I don't think you realize the budget, the budget discrepancy for some of these teams that make the tournament. Like North Carolina state is North Carolina state. They're like one of the, they're, between them and Chapel Hill, they're one of the flagship schools in the state of North Carolina. They get all the money they want. So I don't want to hear about them being a Cinderella team. They get they get the budgets to be successful. They just choose, they just make bad decisions. I mean, yeah, so what? I mean, okay. whoop de doo But does so the Red Sox took it took the Red Sox 86 years to win a World Series. Does that mean that they were a Cinderella story when they won it? No. 
They just did what they needed to do to win it. It wasn't a miracle, even even though it was when they won it because they, they came down for 3-1 against the Yankees to come back and win it. But they didn't say, oh, what a center up. No, they didn't doing all that. Yeah, like yeah, I'm pretty yeah. I thought NC State had more students than North than UNC Chapel Hill, so they're the flag like between them and UNC Chapel Hill. Like you could talk about who's popular from sporting standpoint, but North Carolina State got the student base. Like they they got the budgets, they got the student base, they got it all. So they suck because they've chose to suck. It ain't because they didn't invest. They suck because they chose to suck. You know what I'm saying? Like the Wolfpack sucked all this time because they chose to suck. It was like Wake Forest. Wake Forest got billions. They choose to suck. And now they've chosen not to suck and now they're starting to get better because they've invested. Folks are giving to the program. There's a there's a there there's a distinct difference between when you talk about scholarships and and budgets and what these kids have versus in other institutions. They chose to suck. It wasn't because they didn't have the, the they didn't have the money. They chose to suck, and now they if they they're finally seeing some reward post sucking. But nah, yeah, but dog, UNC and Duke don't win the championship every year. They win it a lot, but they don't win the championship every year. UConn won it last year. Have you guys ever been to Stores, Connecticut? And he's the type of, yeah, I, and I'll take questions tonight, guys, because I really don't have any topics. I don't think too many, like, we did a show on JV, Genevieve Colony getting signed, so I don't really think I need to rehash that. Uh, maybe I'll do a mock draft, maybe not, but um, I'll probably stay on for about an hour, then I'm going to skedaddle. Um, what are your thoughts on Dion already calling the shot regarding telling only certain teams will be allowed to pick his boys in the 25 draft? I think Deion Sanders is trying to take advantage of the same thing that the Mannings did when Eli had the same opportunity. And by the way, he doesn't have boys. He only has one son, and that's Shador. And, oh, no, he has two, Shador and Shallow. Because I think, I think when you ask that question, you're talking about him, Travis Hunter, too. I think he's just trying to do the same thing that Eli and company, that, 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 our, that the Mannings did when it came to Eli, when they got him, got him out of San Diego and got him in New York. Because he doesn't want it, but the, the the type of teams that Deion's going to probably put his his kids are ain't going to be exactly the best organizations anyway. I think he wants him to play for one of the teams that he played for. You know, and he played for a lot of teams in the NFL. God told him to go to a lot of NFL teams during his NFL career, so he played for a lot of teams in the league. All right, but that's my thoughts. I I I think you know nepotism is a thing that happens across society. It's in the NFL. It's in your probably the job that you have. Nepotism is just a thing. Nothing, nothing creates discrimination more than nepotism. So he's just calling the shot. Good luck to him. I, I'm not mad at him trying to make sure his kids are in the right spot. I mean, money. Dog, you can't be that naive to think that money wasn't around back then. You can't be. Yeah, have you watched the 30 for 30 on SMU? The bag man has always been there. Let's not do this. The bag man, the only difference between now and, and with NIL is that the bag man can show his face now. But the bag man has always been there. The bag man is famous. Don't get it twisted. NCAA never had the back, NCAA never had the people to catch all the bag men. But the bag band has always been there. The players have always gotten paid. You just got you guys either turned your turned your head on it or just didn't know about it. The bag man has always been there. Oh, not nah, well, because I think some people, you know, they they a lot of people are saying that Travis because when they asked him the question initially, they were talking about Shador and Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter is not his son. Travis Hunter has a dad. Travis Hunter has parents. So I just wanted to get that clarity because there, there's a there's scenarios where they where they think that next year's draft, Travis Hunter and Shador could be in the top five. Even though I think Travis Hunter is a better wide receiver than a cornerback, 
And I have my reasons for that, but we can, that's a separate discussion. Let me see. I, for next year's draft, I don't know, man. Like, I don't think Travis Hunter is a top five pick. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Like, I don't, I don't think he's a top five pick. I think Deion could hype him up to one. Because it doesn't take much to hype to overshoot these players. I mean, there's a lot of quarterbacks that get drafted every year that shouldn't be drafted where they get drafted. And there's a lot of players that every year that gets drafted where they shouldn't get drafted. So I, I don't. I don't think Shador is a top five. No, I don't think Travis is a top five pick. I think Shador is. I think next year's draft, Shador is going to probably do enough to be a top five pick. I don't think both of them will be, though. And I think for truth be told, for their sake, for Travis's sake, you better hope he's not. Because that means he's going to go to a bad team. Dog, Bryce Young ain't going nowhere. Y'all got to get over this. Talk to me in, let me see, you got drafted in 2023. So talk to me in 2026, 2027. When we have to decide to do a fifth-year option, that's when you talk to me. Because if it's that bad in 2027, then yeah, he's gone. But guys, y'all got to stop the madness. Bryce ain't going nowhere. Shador is going to get drafted by one of the worst teams in the NFL next season, and it ain't going to be us. And even if we are one of the worst teams in the NFL, he's not going to get drafted here. Y'all can go ahead and throw that out the window. Brownie is in the transfer portal. I'll be interested to see if he ends up in Duquesne with, with uh, Drew, with uh, the LeBron's friend over there. I'll be interested. But yeah, Brownie just hit the transfer portal. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. We just had a discussion about Deion Sanders and and Eli and uh, Archie Manning and, and uh, his thoughts on uh, making sure his kids don't get in bad organizations. Unless our organization changes significantly between now and 2026, if we have the number one overall pick that year, I could promise you, Archie Manning ain't coming here. Or whatever, this kid, his kid ain't coming here. I could promise you that. Nah, they, he's in the portal. I literally, like, I literally got the ticker for it right before I went live that Bronny is in the portal. Bronny is in the portal. I think he's, I, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shot if uh, he ends up in Duquesne. Uh, I, you know, so, I mean, he can end up anywhere, obviously. I mean, Ohio State, Duquesne, you know, you never know where he's going to end up. But he is not, he's in the portal. Let me double check that to make sure, because I don't want to be out here giving y'all. Let me see. I want to make sure. I thought I saw something on him going to the portal. Oh, yep. He plans to enter the NCAA transfer portal. Yep. He's going to the portal, guys. Yep. Fun, fun, fun fact about Bronny talking about going to an HBCU. Fun fact about that. A&T sent him an offer with the previous coach. He sent, he was like, uh, you know, and it, it was like a 1% chance he would come to A&T. But only the HBCU would have sent him an offer, too. So. But now nah, he's in the portal. I think he'll end up at. I think he'll end up be that Ohio State of Duquesne. That's my opinion. I think he'll end up at Ohio State of Duquesne. I think if Coach K was still coaching at Duke, he could potentially go to Duke because I think. Um. Well, I know LeBron James multiple times has, has talked about the reverence of Coach K, but because Coach K is retired, I don't see him going to Duke. So.
He nah, nah, nah. Fake news. We had nah. When Coach Jones was there, he wasn't a teacher. He was he was a heck of a. I liked him as a coach, man. You know, you know, just circumstances hit, and they let him go right before we got into the CAA. Now I don't think Bonnie's going there, man. I think he's going to end up either in Ohio State or Duquesne. I think those are the two places he's going to end up. I think I'm thinking Duquesne more than anything else, only because um, they just hired one of um, LeBron's buds, Drew Jones the third, Drew something the third, something like that. Um, you know, I know there was talk that maybe Florida and M should hire him, but it didn't happen, obviously for obvious reasons. But Florida and M is a whole, a, a, an entire rebuild. That basketball team's been so bad. So, y'all ain't got to, y'all ain't got no questions for me, huh? I can, I mean, I can do a mock draft and I can skedaddle. I don't really have too much today, guys. I'll be honest with you. I've been busy doing other stuff today. It's been a long, it's been a long week already, and it's only Tuesday. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I might agree there. I might agree there. I, I still think Ohio State and. Duquesne are the two. I don't see him coming back to USC though. I mean, I mean, I, if I was him, I would go to Duquesne so he could play. He wasn't really playing like you know. I would go to Duquesne if I was him. But I mean, I I'm I'm starting to come around on Lad, but I'm worried that Lad's not going to be there at 33. Like, I think we got to walk out of 33 and 39 with an edge rusher and a wide receiver. I mean, and or or I'm cool if we take a center. Um, You know, I don't really have names, so to speak. Like, I really, like, I'm not, more, I ain't shy when it comes to that. Like, shy got, like, specific names and where to take them. I ain't, I ain't that. Like, I, I know what we need. We need a wide receiver. We need a center. We need a we need an edge rusher. J Davion Connie helped, but it's only a two-year deal. We still gotta develop somebody. YGM leaving, uh, we gotta develop somebody. Unless you guys think that um DJ Johnson and Amari Barnell's enough, and I'm not I'm not there quite yet. I mean, and they could develop into somebody. I mean, Barno, his time's almost up. DJ Johnson has a little bit more time. So, but I'm not fully there yet from that standpoint. I will set up a mock. Give me one second, guys. I'll pull up PFF and do a mock. How was the a t game? Why did your school lose? We lost because the other team got more points than us. The a t game was cool. Um, you know, you know, the WNIT is is one of the other tournaments outside of the NCAA tournament. And, uh, you know, we got invited and we've had and we've made some history by having three home games during the tournament. So I wanted to make sure I made it to one of the home games. So I'm glad I was able to make it to the third one, which ended up being the last game of the season for them. Um, I mean, Troy just straight up. Yo, Troy got shooters straight up. Troy, Troy, Troy had shooters. They shot almost 50 percent for three point land in that game. Like Troy, Troy is. Troy, Troy was balling, man. I, I got to give them all the credit in the world. I mean, we've had our opportunities, but we just didn't shoot well from the three-point line. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. How do I feel about the running backs? I wouldn't be mad if we drafted one. I like the – you know what, man? I know how you guys feel about the, the small schools, but I like Low Lob from – Dylan Lob from, uh, from New Hampshire, and I like Jaden Sheridan from Monmouth. I think those are some guys you can get late in the draft, like fifth, sixth, seventh round guys, day three guys that can help you immediately. So I'm I'm a fan of those guys. I think Chuba has made ridiculous strides. I think if we could cut Miles Sanders, we will. And I'm still mad of how wrong I was about Miles Sanders. Like I'm so, especially from a fantasy perspective, I'm still mad at myself over that. I'm still angry about that for over that. Um, let's see here. What we got? How do I feel about LaVisca going to Seattle? I mean, we, we, we've decided ISM is our guy. 
So I'm not, I'm not, I ain't, I ain't mad at it, man. Um, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm props to him. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we got a new culture regime, so they're going to try to get folks that fits in their system. So I'm never going to be mad at, at somebody um, making a move with that regard. So props to him. I hope everything works out for him. I promise you, Thomas, I'm right more than you. I can promise you that. Dog, I'm not going to get Miles on track. I'm done with Miles. Me and Miles are, no, no, no. We're done with Miles. I'm done with Miles, bro. The way, no, I'm done with Miles. I'm done with Miles. I'm done with Miles. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nah, oh, you mean Canales? I don't think so, bro. I think Chuba's going to be the starter. I really do. I wouldn't be mad at if we took Peyton Wilson, but I think the fan base would be furious if we take him this early. But we would, if we want him, um, we're going to have to take him. I haven't heard too much about Gilmore. I mean, I know that I know that uh, Clowney is recruiting him, and I hope he comes back, man. He should have never left in the first place. That whole and I said it, I said it when we talked about Clowney getting signed. That whole fiasco of not re-signing Gilmore and, and signing Dante Jackson to that extension, what a terrible, terrible mistake. I mean, you you never know, bro. He could fall. He could fall. You never know. All right. Let me uh, see if I can get this draft popping off real fast. Let me see. We'll do a, a we'll, we'll use PFF. Oh, it's down. Updating players. Ah. Uh, let me see. Find another mock draft simulator then. Da, da, da. Let's do PF Pro Football Network. Give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Let me see. Carolina, seven. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Can y'all see this? Is this cool? Can y'all see this? We'll do a mock draft. I'm trying to debate. I'm afraid to see how fast normal is. Let me change this. Let me change the brand real fast. Change the background real quick. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's go. We'll, let's let's rock. Oh, that's too slow. No, 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 no. That's too slow. Sorry, guys. I got to speed this up just a tad. Let's go. There we go. Much better. Oh, wait a minute. Did I screw the pooch? I think I did. Hold on. I need seven rounds. My bad, guys. I tell you how much I do this, huh? How important it is to me. Now let's go. Yeah, it doesn't help when we don't have a first round pick, right? <laughs> All right. Do y'all want this trade? I'm probably going to say no to this one. Y'all want this trade? Nah, this trade's useless. Let's Let's check the other one. Let's reject this one. Uh, another trash trade. Let's counter. Oh, nah. Back. We're not going to take. All right. So the available players we got. Lads there. Y'all want to take Lad at 33? I know y'all were mad. Y'all want to take Lad at 33? Y'all want to take Lad? Who y'all want to take? Let me, let me pull up the players for y'all. Let me pull them up. All right. Here's the top players. 
All right. Y'all don't want to take Lad? Why are y'all hating on Lad? What did Lad do to y'all? What did Lad do to y'all? I got Lad. A lot of folks want me to take Lad. I know y'all were mad that Lad was gone on Saturday, so I should take Lad. Why y'all hating on Lad? Lad might end up being the pick, guys. I just want y'all to know that. I mean, Lad knows the route tree. Lad, Lad, Lad ain't bad. Lad ain't bad, man. I don't know why you hating on Lad. I'm taking Lad. The other wide receiver is the guy. Hold on. Let me. You want to know no other? You want to know who the other wide receiver options are? Hold on. Lad and Troy Franklin. Who you want? I know y'all cussed me out about Troy Franklin on Saturday. So who y'all want? Lad or Troy Franklin? I'm taking a wide receiver. Lad or Troy Franklin? <laughs> Don't get mad. Get Lad. I'm taking Lad, guys. Get ready. Get ready, man. You're, you're going to be turning off the TV. Let me counter this. Dang, these, tra these picks are trash. See the trade. We'll reject that one. All right, let's counter this one. <sighs> I don't want to take that trade either, to be honest with you. They were like, yo, go get Leggett. That's such a it's a reach to get him there, man. He might be there at 65. Let's pull up the rest of the players before we out here talking about get Leggett. I mean, what do y'all think about this kid from UConn? Christian Haynes? What do y'all think about Christian Haynes? We need an interior lineman. We got to protect Bryce, right? Or we could take Darius Robinson. Y'all really want to get Leggett. Y'all wild, bro. Y'all want Leggett? Y'all want to take Darius again? I took Darius at 39 the other day, so. Let's see what else is out here, man. Zach Frazier? You're interested in Zach Frazier? I wouldn't be mad at this one. We need a center. Yeah, what about Zach Frazier? Y'all cool with Zach Frazier? What about Zach Frazier? What y'all thinking, man? Like, we need a center. Like, I, I, I think you guys are underestimating the center. Yo, I don't have time to do a poll. I'll keep it a buck with y'all. So what? I don't care if Corbin, Corbin can't stay healthy. Corbin can't stay healthy. All right, I'm going to be clear. I'm not going to take a wide receiver here. So your choices are Tampa, Robinson, or Frazier. Those are my three choices. So, and I'm not counting repeats. So who do you guys want? Now, I mean, trade down to what, 42? I mean, you're not going to get no pick. All the folks that want to trade, let me see. Hold on. Let me hold on. Let me check something. Let me see here. Who? If I can get the Falcons second and third pick, would y'all be okay with that? If I can get if I can get the Falcons second and third round pick, would y'all be okay with that? Trade or no trade? Everybody's saying Frazier more than anybody else, though, just to be clear. So if I take this trade, y'all cool with this trade? If I go ahead, and, you know what? I'm going to propose to see if it'll take it. Let's see if we can move down. It's only four picks. That might make the decision for me. All right, trade was rejected. It's not happening. Uh, let me see if I could do another trade. Let's see. Nah, that's not. Nah, they're, too, they're too good. Let me see. What about Arizona? What if I go down 10 spots? Y'all cool with going down 10 spots? Are cool going down 10 spots? 
Got cool going down 10 spots. Instead of 43, it'll be 49. All right, let's 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 see if it'll go. Let's see if it'll rock. Nah, I have to probably give up more. But other than that, y'all thinking Frazier? Yeah, I, I think we need to take the center here. I'll keep it a book with y'all. Yeah, let's 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 take we're gonna let's we're gonna take Frazier. We'll see what happens at sixty five. What y'all think about this trade right here? I'm going to let y'all look at this trade for a minute. Y'all cool with this trade? We get all these picks. Y'all want to take that trade? Y'all want to take this trade? Yo, this is, a lot of, this is a lot of picks. I took Lad. Oh, so I would give up our third round pick, and we would get pick 121, 136, 145, and 147. And we'll get next year, Denver's next year fourth. So would y'all take this trade? I mean, that's a lot of picks, man. It's a big drop, but it'll be fast. I think I would do it. Uh, I, I'm curious. Yeah, let's make the trade. I, you know what, man? I could do a second mock draft. Let's make the trade. Let's take it. Let's take it. Let's see what let's see what it looks like in the bottom of the bottom of the pile. I'm not doing all right. I'm not doing any more trades though. That's it. So at one on one. I'm not taking no tight ends, man, because I don't trust the team. I don't trust our franchise to use them. Notice I said franchise, not coach. What y'all thinking at one on one? Cade Stover. I don't want to take a tight end, man. I really don't. I don't want to take somebody we're not going to use. Hey, man, it's hindsight now, dog. It's hindsight. It's hindsight now, man. We we in hindsight mode right now. Fisher. Blake Fisher is there. Y'all saying Newton? I'm trying to see what y'all thinking, man. I'm not taking Spencer Rattler. I'm not taking a damn quarterback. I'm not taking a tight end. I'm not taking a quarterback. What's Braylon Allen, a running back? I'll take Braylon Allen. That's good value. All right. Now what? Even there's my guy right here, but it's okay. That's my guy right there. Dylan Lobb, I like him, man. I like him a lot. He's pretty good. Everybody talking about another wide receiver. We probably could wait. We got enough. We got more than enough picks to wait. We can wait a little bit for wide receiver. What about, well, we already got a running back. I'm not doing tight end. Let's see defense. I think we need to take this edge rusher right here, man. What you know about this kid, Jalex Hunt? I don't know why you guys out here want to draft the tight end when we don't use tight end. We probably should take Cam Hart here. We should take Cam Hart from Notre Dame. That's what I'm thinking. We should take Cam Hart. I'm thinking we should take Cam Hart. Y'all want Kyrie Jackson? All right, let's check the linebackers. I think I can wait. I got like I got like three, I got like two picks in the one forties. I think I want to take I want to take a corner here. So what are y'all thinking, Jackson or Hart? I don't want a tight end, bro. Jackson or Hart?
All right, everybody else is saying Jackson. You sure you ain't going to flame me, man? Because y'all flamed the last. Yeah, I should just flip a coin. Heads for Jackson, tails for Hart. It's too close to call. All right. This is tails. Tails it is. So tails is going to be Hart. You know, I think more I think more scouts should do that. Just flip a coin. All right. Now, now, now we're cooking. We need to get an edge rusher, man. What do y'all what do y'all think it is? Yeah, that's too that's reaching. What we got over here? And we should rate it on running backs, man. Hmm. What's the wide receiver looking like? Y'all like any wide receiver you want to take? Let me see. I know I got. A, oh, I got. I got. Yo, I got three picks between now and one forty-five. So I, I can. Yo, like, I can. I can. I can get everybody what they want. Ellis, I heard Ellis. We can take Ellis. Ellis. Where's Ellis? The edge rusher from Utah. We can take him now. I got back-to-back -back picks, guys. So I got three picks, three out of the next five picks of me. So what y'all want to do? What y'all want to do, man? We got options now. We got three picks in the next five. You see that? You see that? My Denver trade is coming to fruition. I'm not going to take no running backs. Who did I take so far for the sake of me remembering? Because I don't remember. All right, we already got we got an edge rusher, we got a corner, we got a running back, we got a center, and we got a wide receiver. What's the wide receivers looking like? Y'all want to take a wide receiver here? Who y'all want to take? Y'all want to take a DT? All right, here's a let me pull up the list. I'm gonna pull it up real fast. Here are the picks so far. Y'all want to take y'all want to take a you want to get an LMC popping off from Rice? Yeah, I remember we had back to back trades, so I ain't sweating that. But the point is, is that we got three picks of the next five, so I can't, you know. So what you guys thinking? What you guys thinking? Get Javon Baker. What y'all thinking? Yo, man, look, Luke McCaffrey, man, LMC. You know you guys are create an acronym and a heartbeat. Oh, Baker played with Bryce. I think that convinces me right there. That alone is enough. We'll take Baker. Now, who else we taking? So now we got two wide receivers from out of this draft. Who else we taking? We got three more picks left. Three more picks left. And we'll be done because 142, 145, 147. Now we 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 got wide receivers, we got an edge rusher, we got a corner, we got a running back, we got a center. Corner to this, we've already the only need that we didn't grab is tight end, and I'm not drafting a tight end. So unless you guys really want me to take Theo Johnson or Jaheim Bell, I might, you know what? I'll take a tight end. You want me to take a tight end? You want me to take Jaheim Bell? I still think we're not gonna use him, but you want me to take Jaheim Bell? Or do you want to take something else right now and then take Jaheim Bell with the next one? We're not done yet. What we want to do? Take Theo Johnson? Yeah, Iowa does Iowa does reduce tight ends, but that's a reach. I'm not taking him right now. Everybody talking about Leggett. Leggett ain't there, but guys. Leggett's gone. We need to take a DT. Who you want? You want Tyler Davis or Jordan Jefferson? Yeah, let's take a defensive tackle. We need to take one. You want Tyler Davis or Jordan Jefferson? We can get the wide receiver. We can get the wide receiver with the next pick. Or we'll get a tight end with the next pick. Take Bell? All right, we'll take Bell. It's settled. We're taking Bell. Oh, no, I'm not taking the tight end. No, I want to take a tackle. Bell can wait. Bell will be there when I go back around. So what DT you want to take? Tyler Davis from Clemson. Is your Clemson? Are you a Clemson fan, man? Man, be honest with me. Are you a Clemson fan? 
Are you a Clemson fan? Be honest. Are you a Clemson fan? Answer the question, man, man. Are you a Clemson fan or are you a Gamecock fan? If you're a Clemson fan, I don't want to hear it. Y'all biased, man. Y'all, y'all be out here. Nah. Now you gotta get you gotta take your fan hat off. And we're definitely not gonna drop nobody from Clemson. I don't care if we draft the tight end. I just don't think I, I'll be stunned if we do it. All right. I'll take you, I'll take I'll take the I'll take the Clemson man. I'll take him. I'll take Clemson. All right, and we, we agree that we'll take a tight end. So we'll take Bell now. And uh all right, this I think this is the last pick. This is the final pick. Uh what y'all thinking? What we doing? I'm looking at this linebacker, Tyrese Knight from UTEP. That's what I'm thinking. What are y'all thinking? I'm thinking the linebacker from UTEP. I'm thinking Tyrese Knight. How do you feel about Tyrese Knight? I think I, I think I want to take him. You know what? I'm going to take him because we need a linebacker. So I will take him. That's our draft, guys. That's the end of the draft. We don't have any more picks. That's it. I mean, I ain't mad at this. I mean, we got nine players. Someone that's going to definitely contribute. Here's our draft, guys. Ladd, Fraser, Allen, Hart, Ellis, Baker, Davis, Bell, and Knight. And we got a 2025 Denver fourth round pick for our troubles. So I'm not mad at this. Go ahead and grab this. Maybe I'll put this on Twitter later. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. All right, y'all want to do one more before I shut this thing down? Maybe I won't trade this time. I did I did a crazy trade here, man. I give him my third round pick to get all those fourth round picks, fourth and fifth round picks. So, but this is a pretty good draft, man. Like I think this is a I think this this is a solid draft. I wouldn't complain if we got this draft. Uh so let's do one more. I'll do one more, and then we'll 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 call it a, we'll call it a night. Let's do another one. Carolina seven fast solo. Worthy is there, guys. Do you guys want worthy? Reject. Or do you guys want to? I don't think I want to trade again, but do you guys want worthy? This ain't a bad one right here. Would y'all take this trade? If it says no, Toon says yes. Some folks want worthy. Would y'all take the trade? Yeah, I think I'm going to take this trade too, man. I, I said I wasn't going to trade, but I might have to take this trade. We got 39, so yeah, I'm going to take this trade. Let's accept this. I'm not taking no more, though. Nah, I'm not taking no more. Nah, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not dropping down no more. All right. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, my worthy's gone. Um, so, who y'all want to take at thirty nine, guys? I'm gonna let y'all. All right, we took Lad the last time, so do y'all want to take Lad again, or do y'all want to take Darius Robinson? What y'all want to do? Y'all want to take Lad again? Y'all want to take Robinson? Last part, yo, I wouldn't be shocked if Lad's going to be the pick. It would be fun if Lad's there, but y'all want to take Lad again? Y'all want to take Robinson? Or y'all want to take Christian Haynes, the, the guard from UConn?
You know what? This is what we're going to do. I want to have some fun with this one. Let's take Robinson here. I don't want to take. Lad's still there. You want to take Lad at 46? Would you be happy with Lad at 46? Would you guys be happy with Lad at 46? What other wide receivers are out there? Right now, wide receiver-wise, we got Lad, Troy, Baguette. We got some options, man. I mean, or do you want to take Sweat, Frazier again? Or do you want to double dip at edge rusher? Everybody's saying lad. You know what? Let's have some fun. Let's take lad again. I don't want to take, I don't like taking cats twice, but let's take lad again because I want to see if, I'm curious to see something. Because I want to see if the gets there. If the gets there, I'm going to take him. I ain't there. Damn it. All right. But we got this. Now, this is a different scenario. So who do you guys want here? Fisk is there for Florida State. Um, Carson, the cornerback from Wake Forest. We can get Van Pran right here. I mean, our next pick is 82 from the trade. We can get Van Pran right here. What y'all thinking? I'm not taking the tight end, guys. I don't trust. Yo, I, I man. I don't want to take one this early. I really don't. I don't want to take one this early. I'll keep it a buck with y'all. I was thinking about Van Pran. I'm taking Van Pran. I want to take Van Pran. Let's take Van Pran. Get the center out the way. Would y'all be interested in Tez here? Would y'all be interested in Tez? Would y'all be interested in Tez? Tez Walker from North Carolina. Double dip. Y'all be interested in Tez? I think I would take Tez here. Double dip at wide receivers as you guys. I think we should take Tez. No, well, let's double dip because y'all been, you know, I don't want to take a wide receiver. I don't want to take a tight end. Let's take, let's, let's take Tez. All right, we're at one on one now. If we want to take a defensive tackle, this is probably be the place to do it. We got Dwayne Carter sitting there. We could take Dwayne Carter here. What y'all thinking? We should take Dwayne Carter, take a defensive tackle, take a corner. I don't know if there's a corner worth taking here, man. I keep it a butt with you. I mean, unless you want to take the kid from TCU, we could take him. Or take Kyrie. Take Josh Newton. I'll take Josh Newton. I'm cool with taking Josh Newton. How many more picks we got left? We got back-to-back -back picks, and then we got 240. All right, what y'all want to do with these picks? All right. How y'all feel about this Tyron Hopper character? Some folks are saying Hopper. How y'all feel about Hopper? All right, let's take Hopper. All right. I know who I'm taking with my last pick. And I, and yes, my last pick. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys decide this one. But I know who I'm taking with my, my, my last pick. Somebody said we need a power back. We already got a set. We drafted a center. We don't need to take a we don't need to take two centers. I already took a center. I took Van Pran. Here's who we've already taken. We got an edge rusher, a wide receiver, a, a center. We got two wide receivers, a center, a corner, and a linebacker. So I don't need to take another center. If we're gonna take something, you know, maybe we take a tight end, but I don't think I want to take two T. I would, you know who I want to take? This guy right here, Jordan Jefferson. Get a defensive tackle. That's what I'm thinking.
man, we can get a run. We can get a we can get a good running back in uh in uh in a free agency. Yeah, I'm going Jefferson. I'm gonna take the tackle. I'm gonna take somebody in the trenches. And I and listen, I'm making the last pick. Y'all ain't making the last pick. I'm making the last pick. Because there's somebody I want to see is in here. I doubt he's here. If he is, I'm taking him. I don't think they update their stuff enough. But then again, hold up. Wait a minute. Damn, the Sunday at Anderson went. Hold up. Let me see. Can I search? Anderson. Yeah, he went. Damn it. He did go. Let's do it. Ah oh, man, that sucks. He ain't in here. Huh. The guy I wanted to take. Oh, he went right before me. He ain't that a damn it. This guy right here, he's gonna be special, man. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Sunday at Anderson from Grandland State, he's gonna be special. I'm gonna tell you that straight up. All right, so I'll let you guys pick. My guy's gone. Who y'all think with this final pick? It's 240, so. Otherwise, I'll just take the, the safety. Oh, let me see. Hold on. What's the running backs looking like now? Maybe I'll just take the running backs y'all back for it. Y'all like any of these running backs? Oh, you know what? I would take him, but he's he's probably a free agent guy you can pick up. I like him, though. Jane Sheridan. Oh, they ain't do his data yet. But he's he's more of a scat back. Frank Gore Jr. Oh, I didn't realize Tootin declared for the draft. I didn't realize Tootin. I didn't realize Tootin declared for the draft. I wonder if Jacob Robbins is in here. I know he should be in here. He's not in here either, huh? That's a shame. He should be. He declared for the draft, so I'm kind of shocking ain't there. Ray Davis. Ah, wait, whoa, whoa. Ray Davis, huh? Ray Davis, running back. He's not here. All right, he's not here. Rocky Lombardi. Yeah, man, I'm just going to pick the top guy on the list. You guys name us random folks. Did we take a linebacker? Yep, we did. All right. Did we take a corner? Yep, we did. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll take Crum. Somebody mentioned him earlier. That'll do it. All right. Yes, that is that is that is North Carolina former North Carolina ET running back Bashaw too. That transferred to Virginia Tech. All right. So that's the draft, guys. That was fun. Uh on that note, I'm about to call it a night. This has been fun. Hopefully Rashad is back for vacation next week. Otherwise, you'll see my face again next week, but we'll see. Uh, make sure if you haven't done so already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Underdog Fantasy. Use code PNP if you sign up for Underdog Fantasy. It really helps out the channel. Become a patron, ladies and gentlemen. Go to www.patreon.com slash PantherNationPC. So become a patron and help support the channel. Um, And shout out to the Queen City Podcast Network for putting these things on Apple Podcasts. Well, you can go listen to these episodes anytime you want on Apple Podcasts, and you don't have to see my face when you do it. So, on that note, I will see you guys next week. And always remember, keep pounding. Peace. <laughs>